Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Wild, the Wild Beer Company. They're in Somerset, England, and this is Wildebeest. So this is a Imperial Stout 11% brewed with chocolate, espresso, and vanilla. So uh, let's dig into this beer. Beer comes in a black color, um, even almost like a deep brown. There is a little bit of deep brown coming in light, but pretty dark. Let's get the aroma on this one. So it follows with a little bit of caramel, some butterscotch, um, a little bit, a good amount of chocolate, but there's this weird note that I get in there that's a very fragrant note. Um, I've gotten it before and I've always associated it with um, overripe banana. Um, the bananas that you'd use in banana bread, just like black bananas have this just like really sweet, 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 like pungent aroma. And that's what I pick up. Uh, I, I assume other people have a different um, tasting note for it, but it's one that I'm curious if you guys uh, pick out sometimes. And there's hints of alcohol in there. It smells relatively sweet. Cheers. Yeah, um, follows with a big smack of sweetness in general. Um, it rides with a good amount of sweetness, compounded with that essence of sweetness from that, again, overripe kind of banana kind of thing I was talking about. Um, some vanilla lingers around. Not too much of the coffee, roast, or espresso bitterness, as I could possibly imagine. Alcohol uh, helps dry out the beer, but I don't know. It's one of those beers where it's a little jagged. There's an imbalance of the initial sweetness. Um, that's sort of just, it's not necessarily too cloying, but it can be. Uh, the alcohol really de definitely does help dry out the palate. Um, but I really wish there was more arguably residual sweetness with the balance up front a little bit more. Um, wow, that pop of alcohol really does leave the um, palate pretty clean. But again, there is just that big smack of just uh, rich sweetness up front. It's almost like a melted chocolate bar, uh, a little bit of that kind of flavor. Uh, you get a little complexity of the, uh, some cocoa and that bitterness of the espresso just driving in there in a little bit. But I mean, it's good. Um, I would say it's a good dessert sipper. Um, but in the end, I, I'm not like, it, it doesn't really quite come off as a cohesive beer necessarily for me. So as for a rating, it's all right. Um, let's go with an 84 on this one. 84. This is the Wild Beer Company, the Wildebeest. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.